if you're just joining us, good morning. Here are the eight things you need to know today. We're now exactly one week away from Election Day, and the race for the Blaine House is heating up. Right now, Democrat Mike Misho supporters are putting the pressure on one group of voters. WMTW News 8's Norm Carcos is live in our studio this morning to explain. Good morning, Norm. Good morning to you, Megan. With just seven days to go until voters cast their ballots now, Mike Misho's supporters are turning up the heat on Elliot Cutler's supporters. Their message is that a vote for Cutler is a vote for Governor Paul LePay. Now, at a press conference yesterday in Portland, the Pro Micho Environmental PAC Next Gen Climate released new television and radio ads. One line in that spot reads, quote, if you want LePage to take a hike, then you've got to vote for Mike. Some of these voters who say they voted for Cutler four years ago are now supporting Micho because they want LePage out of the Blaine House. Cutler's campaign manager, however, is urging voters not to be swayed by out-of-state money and special interest groups. And as we mentioned, we're now in the home stretch, and now some big names. Are heading to Maine over the next few days to show support for their respective candidates. First up is New Jersey Governor Chris Christie. He'll be in Bangor today to join Governor Paula Page. That's his fourth trip to Maine this year. And President Barack Obama will be campaigning in Portland on Thursday for Mike Misho. We'll have much more on that as the week progresses here. Live in the studio, Norm Carcos, WMTW News 8. Norm, thank you. The CDC is recommending new restrictions for people returning from West Africa, ranking them based on their risk for Ebola. The CDC saying healthcare workers who were around Ebola patients but didn't have direct contact with bodily fluids do not require isolation. Well, meanwhile, the main nurse who tested negative for Ebola but was forcibly quarantined in New Jersey has agreed to isolation up in Fort Kent. But she and her attorney don't agree with state officials on how long. Officials say nurse Casey Hickox should be isolated for 21 days, but her attorney says she'll remain in seclusion for only the next day or so. Right now, Auburn police are looking for a man who robbed the Big Apple convenience store on Main Street wearing a Spider Man mask. They say he threatened the clerk with a knife and got away with some cash. He's described as a slender white male, about five foot three, and was last seen wearing a blue hooded sweatshirt and dark pants. Continuing the eight things that you need to know today, a Wyndham daycare owner facing child assault charges will face a judge. Eleanor Arno is accused of assaulting a child in her care. She ran a daycare from her home on Walter Partridge Road. Arno has since surrendered her license and the daycare is now closed. Soon to be laid off, employees of Legacy Publishing in Westbrook are getting some help. Great Falls Marketing in Auburn needs to hire 150 new employees for its call center and is looking to hire workers affected by the layoff. They are hosting a day long job fair this Thursday at the Auburn Hilton Garden Inn from 10 a.m. until 8 p.m. Federal regulators are cutting Maine's lucrative elver fishing quota by about 18 percent next year. A federal panel is recommending a 9,688 pound catch for next year, down from nearly a 12,000 pound catch this year, which was the first time regulators had imposed a quota. And then finally this morning, Walmart has announced it will be selling the new Call of Duty Advanced Warfare 24 hours before its official release. The game will be available on Monday for $60. Matt?